Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an external link to a module. This is actually one of the easiest and fastest ways to add content to a module. And this is great for um, items that you can't embed or directly link into a Canvas course. So for example, um, history teachers who use Active Classroom. Right now that does not naturally embed into Canvas. So what you could do is you could use the external link um, add that to your module and send your students directly to the Active Classroom page that you'd like them to complete for their activity. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we are in our home page, our module view, and you, this is my same module that I've been working on if you've been with me through my other videos. So we always start at the module level and we hit this gray plus sign right here and I'm going to select from the drop-down external URL and then I just copy the link. So in this case I have a brain pop tab, a brain pop video open. So I'm going to copy that and then I give it a name that is two-step equations and I'll say to be specific and I can say that I want it to load in a new tab or I don't have to, that's kind of up to you. Um, we'll look at the difference in just a second, but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is, and then I'm gonna say add item. And again, notice that it's not published just by default, so I do need to publish it. So now, so that you can see what your students would see, you can click on that link, and there it is. What's nice about not opening it in a new tab is that it did go ahead and add it directly into my Canvas page, so my students do not have to open up a new tab to get to the content. It is right here within Canvas. Anything that keeps our students in one platform, it's going to be easier for them to navigate um, and easier for them to stay organized. So, all right, let's go ahead and go back home. So again, that was the gray plus sign. I selected external URL from the drop down menu. I copied the link to the URL, in this case a BrainPot video. I gave it a name and then I said add item. So let's do it again and let's start from the beginning. Hit the gray plus sign, select external URL. In this case I'm going to copy this Google Sites. I'm going to paste it into my URL. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to go ahead and have uh, this one load in a new tab just so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to say add item and then I'm going to publish it. And when I click on that link, it's going to actually open that up in a brand new tab right there for my students. Okay, so let's recap. External URLs. We did two different kinds. We did one the brain pop one where I did not select open in a new tab. In that one, it actually embedded the content into my Canvas page. If I want to though, the kids, I or the kids can click this link and that would then open it up into a new window. The other one that I did, I actually opted to open it up in a new window and it does that automatically and there it is. And then back in Canvas, you can see there's the page, it just says open Google site. So I'm gonna go back to modules and there they are. And you can see the difference. These were content pages. You can tell by the icon. These are external URLs. So external links added to a module. Very quick, very easy way to get your students to the content that you need them to have. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any member of the Digital Learning Services Department. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.